Hello, my Yarny friends. I'm Sarah Satch, and welcome to another edition of This or That. <laughs> so what that is, is I ask you a question, I give you a couple of answers, and then you tell me what your answer is. It can be this or that or the other thing. <laughs> all right, so today we're talking chains, and I've made a chain here. We all know how to make a chain. And we're going to be talking about which loop do you stitch in? Well, that's an interesting question, right? We make a chain, we just stitch in it. But which loop do we stitch in when we're beginning our next row? So on a chain, you have three sets of loops. You have the top loop and the bottom loop. And then if you turn it over, you have what's called the bottom bump. And you can stitch in any of those chains when you're beginning a project. I almost always, whether I'm stitching a single crochet, a double crochet, or whatever I'm doing, I almost always start in this top loop. Let's say I'm going to stitch a row of single crochets. I'll start in the second chain from the hook, and I'll just start stitching in those top loops. And that's perfectly normal. That's what most people do stitch in. But you don't have to. If you want a different look, you can stitch in the bottom, which I never have done, but some people will do that. And they'll come down here and they'll stitch in those bottom loops. And you have to turn your chain up and stitch across them, which is fine. It's interesting, but the one that I think is really interesting is that bottom bump. So we have a top and a bottom or, or a sets of loop up here and down here, top and a bottom loop. But if we turn that over, we have that row of bottom bumps. And you get a really nice effect if you stitch in those bottom bumps. And let me show you. I'm going to do the same thing and just stitch a couple of single crochets working across, stitching in those bottom bumps. And let me make a few so you get the idea of how cool it looks. All right, so I stitched across those bottom loops or bumps. What happens is it forms this sort of braid at the bottom. And it's a really nice look on the edge of say a scarf or a blanket, or even if you're making a basic cap that makes a really nice look and effect. And so I've, I've done a few projects like this and I'm going to do some more just because I think it looks really neat. And so when I ask the question, what loops on your chain do you usually stitch in? That's what I'm talking about. And so we can stitch in that top loop or bottom loop or back loop of our chain and get a little bit different effect. And so that's why I asked you, do, which loop do you usually stitch in when you're doing a crochet project? Because to be honest with you, I almost always stitch in that top loop. I don't even think about it. That's just where I go. And I like that. But seeing the other ways of doing it, it gives me an idea that maybe for some other projects, you know, that I'm going to use some of those other techniques. And I'm interested to hear if you've tried stitching in the bottom loop or that back bump of the chain and what you thought of that. And if you haven't, go ahead and try it just for fun. I think you'll see that it's really interesting. And it's always fun to learn little new techniques and things that we can add to our crochet art. Because remember, crochet is an art. The more we learn, the more we practice, the more confident in our craft we will become. So thank you for being with me for another this or that. <laughs> and I'll see you next time for another episode of this or that. Bye-bye <laughs> <Bye> now. <laughs>